Hennessy got me bent. When is we bugging again? We back. Yeah. Let me take these glasses. Woo! Damn, I miss y'all so much. Oh my goodness, bro. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, and I'm back. I'm back. It's been like a year. It's been a year. It's been a year. Oh my god, one year. Sheesh. I'm so excited to be back, y'all. Damn, man. I'm sorry. I just want to. I want to first. Let me start off with an apology, man. I ain't mean to go shot like that. No funny. I ain't mean to go shot. No bad. I ain't mean to go shot like that. But I had to. I had to. I really had to, man. I had to work on myself. You feel me? Like a lot is new. A lot is new. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 here. I'm here now though. So round of applause for that. You feel me? A lot of people thought I was just gonna go and never come back. But I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I thought about it. I got motivated by my friends. Also, it was like, I just didn't feel right. Like, I, I miss you too, man. Like, this is a, this is a part of my life for like seven years. Like, six, seven years, bro. Like, cat. It was probably like five, but I took, you know what I'm saying? Last year, no. Probably like four years I was doing YouTube. Like, for real, three, four years. And I miss it, son. Like, don't get me wrong. I've been in other people's videos. Some of y'all may see me in like, DDG videos, Dove videos, Deshay videos. I've been in a lot of different videos. You feel me? But I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. I'm back, man. We gon' we gonna keep we gonna get this going. You know what I'm saying? Like we gonna talk like the real, real here. We're gonna talk the real. So y'all, past year has been great to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I was able to to go through things and get past things and really just really like able to find myself. You get it? Like, you know, I as y'all know, obviously I was in a relationship, you know what I'm saying, for like four or five years. And then like being single was like a different kind of vibe. So it's like I had to adjust to that. I was so used to being in a relationship, being with somebody else. It was kind of crazy. You feel me? It was kind of it was kind of crazy the adjustment, but I did it. And you know, I dealt with some girls. I was you know dating and all the other things and all that. And even now, I'm still single. Still single, y'all. Don't worry, I'm still single. But that past is the past. So in this moment, we could just 100. percent The past is the past. We're gonna leave the past in the past. Can we do that, y'all? Can we leave the past in the past? Cause the future is bright. So can we leave the past in the past? But I want to talk to y'all about the past year. You get what I'm saying? Like, so I went I went to a lot of different places this year. Like in the beginning of the year, I first started off, I was in Paris. You get what I'm saying? I went to Paris. Then from Paris, I went to uh, I went to Paris with the gang. Runs gang jokes up. You dig what I'm saying? Like we the family. We running, we running through this international back and we doing what we gotta do. Runs game jokes up all the way. You feel what I'm saying? February, I came back. I went to DR. I went to DR with Seven and Brooke for her Brooke's birthday. That was a vibe all the way. Like I have clips and stuff. If y'all wanna see, y'all wanna see the clips. I, matter of fact, throw some clips in here. So I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna show y'all the clips of Paris, and then I'm gonna show y'all the clips of DR. Earl on the beat. Earl on the beat. Yeah. So that was Liddy. That was all the way Liddy. And I had a good time. You know what I'm saying? I had a good time. Both different um places. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? And it was a vibe. It was, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing too extra going on. We was just vibing. You get what I'm saying? That was cool. That you know. And came back. Then my birthday came up. I went to DR. I went to damn. Not DR. I came back from DR. Came back from DR. And then for my birthday, I went to Bahamas. You feel me? So I felt like, you know, so crazy, y'all? Let me tell you the craziest thing. I feel like I had to go to all the places that I went to when I was in a relationship. I went now, like, single. You get what I'm saying? Like, I went to Paris. I hated Paris, bro. First time I went to Paris, I hated it, bro. I had a ball. Like, Paris is top five right now. For me, Paris wasn't even, like, Paris was last. But now that I went dolo, like, with the gang, and, you know what I'm saying? It was different. Different kind of vibe. Different situations. Different scenarios. Bro, it was a super vibe. You feel me? I loved it. I loved every second of it. Paris, top five. Food is good. People good. Like, they treated me way better than they did before. Because, you know what I'm saying? Before, it was just, it was me and, 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 and my girl at the time. So, it was like, I don't know. Like, whatever we was doing or whatever was going on, I wasn't jacking it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, at the same time, you go to your significant other, traveling places, it'd be a lot of bickering and arguing and, sh and stuff like that. This time it was none of that. Like it was a vibe. I loved it. Every second of it. Paris, I love y'all. Well, you know I'll be back. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Wee oui, wee. Oui, Mi chérie. You know we be back. 
You feel me? And then I went to DR, Vibe, Super Vibe. You know I'm Dominican. Y'all tu sabe, muchacho. Y'all tu sabe. Que pasó? Hablame, muchacho. Hablame. Carajo, muchacho. Carajo. Oh. But nah, no funny shit. Um. After that, you know I was in Miami because you know I told y'all I moved to Miami for the last year. Miami was litty, man. It was a it was a blessing to be in Miami. I love Miami. You know Miami got my heart always. You dig what I'm saying? And then we talking about the I was just chilling and stuff. You know Miami just doing what I do and dating and all that. But I feel like I don't know. Like after my lease was up in Miami, I'm like, damn, what should I do? Like LA, Miami. Like I was trying. I'm trying. To, I'm still like still right now. I'm trying to decide. If y'all don't know, I'm in Vegas right now. You feel me? I'm in Vegas. I'm just like, yo, I gotta get a video for y'all, man. I gotta get back. Cause it's like, it's so much going on that I just, and I miss y'all. It's like, I be in YouTube videos. I like, I was just in my son Dub video and I was, all these other videos is like, bro, like, why am I not posting and letting my, my own people that really mess with me see what's going on from my point of view. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all see everything from everybody else's point of view or whatever the case may be. And you know, that's cool. That's cool. I love being, I love being in my man's videos and I'm always going to do it. Just like, you know, when I'm, I'm about to start getting consistent, they're going to come slide in mine, you know, and we're going to just do what we do. Like, it's just, this is the regular life we live in. You get it? So... Catching that, catching that, uh, I just came back from Dior, um, um, Dubai, pardon me. Came back from Dubai. It was DDG's birthday. Super, super vibe. Like, you know I love Dubai. Dubai, Bahamas, and Bali. Bali is my top three. My top three, right there. I think Paris number four right now. We added Paris this year after I went, woo! Super, super litty. But, man, Dior was cool with the gang. Like, we had mad fun. Like, you know, we was doing content. We was just vibing. We was, like, experiencing new things. Then I went deep sea water. Like, last time when I went to Dubai, I went deep sea diving by myself. This time, me, Baby Rich, and, and, and Moo went deep sea diving. You feel me? And it was super litty. Like, super duper litty. You feel me? And I loved it. Man, Woo. that was amazing, y'all. I love, love deep sea diving. I'm not gonna lie, I love it. And I ain't, I'm not gonna cap them to do it again. And again, and again. Every time they got it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that was super, super, super lit. You feel me? Like, that was like, damn, it was a lovely experience. No bat. Like, I had a great, great time. Feel me? So, I feel like now, like where I'm at in my life right now, it's like, I just want to like, let y'all know that I'm, I miss y'all like a lot. I really do miss y'all genuinely and truly. And, you know, I want to get back. I'm, 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 I'm about to get back. I'm about to just... Let that content fly, like I be doing so much, like it was just Halloween, I had a blast, you know what I'm saying, in LA. I wasn't really in LA all year, you feel me? Cause it was like, to me, LA was like, I remember LA like being in a relationship, all that. And then when I got out of a relationship and all that, I was just like, you know what, I'm just thugging and bugging. You feel me? Like burnt and turnt, you get what I'm saying? And I just like, let me go back to the East Coast, get my mind right. Then it was to a point where it was like, I had to make sure that I knew like what I wanted for myself. I felt like I was letting anybody catch that energy and that vibe for me. I'm like, that's not even me. Like I'm a person that's to myself. I like keep my energy and my vibe to myself. And the people that I love and that's genuinely my people's like they genuinely mess with me like 100 you feel me and I don't think I was doing that and then I'm not gonna lie I really wasn't doing that so you know I came to came to LA I'm not gonna lie shout out my, my dog Pootie and and Dub bro like Pootie Dub DDG Baby Rich you know what I'm saying like they really put it in my head like bro like wildin like come back bro like no funny shit like niggas miss you like you could you you, you wildin like you on the east coast you know what I'm saying they, they pull up on me like these are the bros like they pull up on me like we go out we go out to eat we go catch a vibe do whatever we doing you know what I'm saying but at the end of the day it's like I'm living on the east coast gang on the west you feel me and I'm just I'm like I said I'm giving my energy to different, too many different people and I'm not really feeling that like even when it comes down to me dating like I was doing that and it's like I feel like I wasn't like mentally even like focused on what I had to do for my 
myself. Like I was all so work, so focused on other people because I'm so used to doing that. I'm a, I'm a loving, giving person. You know what I'm saying? So I'm take, I'm holding like other people down when it's like I'm not in a relationship no more. I don't have to be doing that. So I have to really get that in my mind. Like yo, I don't. I can say no to people. Like I don't have to do this. Like certain different things is like nah. I don't need. I don't need that around me. Like no, if I don't want to be around that, I don't have to do it. If I don't want to like see certain people, I don't have to see them. They wanted me to go out. I don't have to go out. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't have to do nothing. And I was just so used to like four or five years being with somebody I was attached to the hip where it was like even if I didn't want to do something I'm like fuck it I'll just take it on the chin and I'm, I'm gonna do it because I love you you get it like and still out of love I do certain things for my friends and my family and all that but at the same time it's like when you gonna work on yourself like feel me you getting older like it's a lot going on around you that it's like you gotta be able to do for you as a person as a man you feel me so I feel like that's what I had to do and that's why I had to get my mind at you know what I'm saying like and I got to the point where I just stayed to myself for a little bit and I saw like alright these are the people that really mess with me the people that call me check up on me you know what I'm saying like the people that when I'm not around, think of, they thinking of me or like, yo, what's up with what's up with bro? Like, what he on? Like, is he good? Like, you get know what I'm saying? But I just had to get to a point of mental space where it's like, I get that everybody's not your friend. They could be acquaintance, they could be cool with you, whatever the case may be. They could be people that mess with you when they see you, and that's not that's not a bad thing. Like, don't take that as a negative. Feel me? But the people who's really for you and like with you 100, like all the way, those are the people you cherish. Those are the people you keep close. Those are the people that you know what I'm saying. No matter what, through thick and thin, you there for them. You know what I'm saying? You able to tell them yo, they wrong or this that and third. Like my friends been black. I'm talking about like, bro, they been. Blasting me, bro. Like, yo, what's up with you? Like, you not even, you know, on YouTube shit. Like, what you on? Like, you feel me? Like, as y'all know, I do Wiz picks. Like, that's my, that's my sports betting on um, platform that I have for myself and anybody who wants to get money. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm on my Wiz picks. I'm, I'm, you know, what I'm saying, helping people make money with that, and I'm getting my money and doing what I gotta do. Like, I'm making money with that as well. Like, that's what I've been doing for years. Everybody always wonder, like, how does this guy make his money? You feel me? Like, oh my God, how does he make his money? What is he doing to make money? Like, how does he got this motion? How does he do this and that and the third? The truth is, is Wiz picks, bro. Like, I've been, I've been sports better for years like years bro like 10 years now like probably like nah probably like yeah like around 10 years now like i've been sports better for a little minute you feel what i'm saying not 10 probably like seven so, yeah when i was like 21 for i started dibbling dabbling i remember i was on a plane my first bet was like i had took um bron versus warriors i was when they was down three one LeBron came back and smacked him. Even when it was down 3-1, I took him. I put a little extra 10. I, woo, that shit turned. Woo, flip. Whatever. I get too excited when I think about that. But shout out LeBron, man. Shout out Curry. Shout out all of them, man. They, they on their way out, but they still like the GOATs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. But at the same time, like, even with that, it's like a lot of, a lot of things have changed for me. And, and I, I'm happier about them. You feel me? Like, I'm happy. Like, I'm genuinely happy. I was always in a happier space ever since I removed a lot of different things from my life. And I'm happy. Like, I'm like you, if, you, if you've been around me or you see me like I don't even post as much on Instagram no more you feel me like I don't do a lot of like I'm living in the moment I'm not like a lot of people live for the internet or live for like a facade or whatever the case may be I don't care about none of that you feel me a lot of things happened this year where it was like it made me realize what really matters and what matters is not just social media like social media and shit like how people perceive you like that's cool and all but that's not that's not what matters you got to be good within yourself and do what you got to do for yourself and just have your mind on point and handle what you got to handle as a man as a an adult, it's what you gotta do. You feel me when you get older? And you know, being a single man, I've been doing that, and I'm 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 happy. I'm happy. Like I'm genuinely happy in a space where it's like nothing can mess with my mental right now. You feel me? Like nothing. All the arguing, like I don't even like when people try and argue with me. I was arguing so much for so long. It's like about shit that's like don't even matter, bro. Like arguing about nothing for real, taking up so much time and energy. Like I'm cool off of that. Like you, the first second, like I was talking to this one girl, she got to argue with me. Like homie, <laughs> homie, like I'm not in a relationship. I I don't need this. Feel me? Like, we even like people could argue, like, we could disagree, we could speak on things, but it's like when you like trying to do the most, like, I'm following and sending mad paragraphs and not hearing and talking over me, like, my, I don't like, I don't have to give energy towards this, baby girl. Like, I'm good, love. I'm gonna holla at you. And then when you come back, it's like you do the same thing, baby girl. This just ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work for me, baby. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? You go your way, I go mine. It's good. But you know, I've been like knowing what I've been I've been figuring out what I like in a woman. And I've been vibing. Like I got, you know what I'm saying? I got I got women in my corner that mess with me. Like we we 100 with each other. Like we keep it, we keep, we keep shit like the way it's supposed to be. Like we not lying to like all that stuff is corny childish, you feel me? And you know, if you if you catch a vibe with me, it's like you catching a vibe, we cool. We, we cool and like we understand we not in a relationship or we not all the way there you dig so it's like i'm not tripping i'm not really tripping on nothing i'm really focusing on myself and you know somebody that i rock with it you know what i'm saying they, they they need somebody to speak to or some help or something with like whatever's going on with your life you know what i'm saying i'm here for you if we 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 on that level with each other whether it's gang or a shorty i'm talking to or family like 
I, I'm there for you 100. Like, cause I, it's past year, I just realized what really matters and like, these are the things that matter in life. You feel me? And I'm happy that I'm, I'm able to get to that point for myself. And I just want to share that with y'all cause like, you never know what the next person's going through. You don't. And if y'all going through that, I just want y'all to know, y'all could push through and y'all could do what y'all gotta do for yourselves cause at the end of the day, you can't help nobody else if you're not good at within yourself. You feel me? And that's how I've been, bro. Like, I've been helping my, I've been, I've been, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been there. I've been there. Like, and now I'm, I'm to the point where it's like, I'm happy. I'm here. I'm genuinely like, I'm in a space where it's like, nothing can stop me, you know? I've, I've been networking, I've been rubbing shoulders with the right people, we've been, you know what I'm saying, working behind the scenes, and there's a lot of things I want to show y'all that, you know what I'm saying, y'all could see like, yo, nah, he's serious, like, he's serious about this. And even YouTube, like, I've been, I've been, come, I've been going back and forth with this for a little while, you know, I'm gonna tell you the truth. The real reason why is because somebody made it, made it seem like, and I'm not, I'm not saying this for y'all to like, like, Feel like I I think anything crazy, but it's just like when somebody I, I'm a per I got ego. I'm a, I'm a man at the end of the day. Before y'all knew me, I was me. I was doing my thing. I was whatever. So it's like when somebody puts it out there, it tries to make me feel like this YouTube and social media and all that. Like don't get me wrong, it changed my life to the point where it's like whatever whatever I was doing that was negative, I saw my life in a different point of view, and it was to the point where it's like there's so much more to life. I was I was shown a new way of of going about things. You get what I'm saying and that was a blessing and I appreciate that 1000% but it's like when it's like somebody tries to bash you or make you feel less than because social media or something like homie I never needed social media homie like I was way better off before social media you get it but now I love social media to the point now I don't love social media I love like YouTube and the people that mess with me and I miss it that's how I know like when you let something go and then you just like you come back to it it's like you know that it's meant for you you feel me and that's how I feel about YouTube like I let it go. I let it go. Even Insta like Instagram, I don't really care about Instagram. I don't I go on my Instagram, I barely post on Instagram. You feel me? Like it's like whatever. You get what I'm saying? Like right now I'm on Snap. Cause Snap, it, it gave me the it gave me the the same love that I felt in the beginning of YouTube. When I first started doing YouTube, it was like, damn, what's what's this? Like I never had Snap before, you feel me? I just made Snap a month ago. Now I'm on Snap, like I post vlogs daily. Like, you wanna see my daily life? Like, I'm in Vegas. You wanna see my Vegas and what's going on in Vegas? Boom, it's on Snap. Like, if I go on little dates, boom, it's on Snapchat. You feel me? My Snapchat is who is Wizard Kelly. You get what I'm saying? Is it who's or who is? It's crazy, I don't even know my Snap. So I'm saying it's fresh. It's who's. Who's Wizard Kelly? That's my Snap. Who's Wizard Kelly? Feel me? And I love Snap because of that. Like, and even it's like I'm so I'm so to the point where it's like I'm used to being with a significant my significant other and all that. Where it's like I won't post in the moment. Like me as a person, I'm super sturdy. I'm super sitchy when I'm outside. You get it? But it's like when I was with another person, I couldn't post in the moment or this that, and the third. And I get it. But it's like now that I'm super sitchy, I'm by myself. I'm sitchy. Like anybody want to play? Like you get what I'm saying? Like you don't want to play. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like. I could post in the moment. And I, I'm so stuck on saving and posting later. It's like certain content doesn't get out there because I'm in that moment. And it's like, even I be with my friends, they posting in the moment, I'm saving it. It's like, what am I doing, bro? Like, but it's a lot of things I gotta get adjusted to because I'm so used to something that I've been doing five years. You get what I'm saying? And now I'm on a different type of vibe, a different type of frequency. And yeah, it's like, I'm on Snap, just, I love it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. I love it. Like, I love the vibe. I love being able to snap. And it's like YouTube when I was vlogging, you feel me? Back, you know, I was, I'm, so I'm on my yes. Sir, like, you feel me? Just catching that type of vibe, you get it? You know, I, that's that's what I'm into right now. And I, I, I miss y'all, man. Like, I wanna come through and just, I wanna come through with bangers, though. Like, this is just me expressing myself and what's been going on lately and, you know, my dating life and just kept letting y'all catch up and understand, like, yo, nah, you know, bro been working, like, you feel me? Like, he been doing his thing. He been, he been in, you know, in the, in the right rooms, rubbing the right shoulders, you feel me? Like, doing the right things, you get what I'm saying? And now, I'm to the point where it's like, I'm done. I'm back, I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro, I'm done, like, sitting here not on my YouTube vibe, you feel me, like, and I feel like, you know the truth, y'all, let me tell you the truth, before, I was like, I was doing YouTube for the wrong reasons, I was just, do I was doing YouTube cause, I had, not I had to, but it was like, you know, it was like, it's what I'm doing just cause, it's around and it's to do, it's something to do, you get it, but now, I, I, I know that I miss y'all and I want to do YouTube and I want to do certain things like when I was doing the pranks and all that it was like that was like creative It was fun to me. It was like something I wanted to do and you know certain times uh, some People didn't want me to do certain different things cuz uh, for them But it's like now I can do things for myself my image like it don't even matter my likeliness like <clears throat> and Nobody else is attached to me to the point where I can't do certain things I want to do and I'm gonna do it now You feel me like 1,000% I'm gonna do it a thousand percent like 1 million percent actually and I have a lot of bangers in mind Like even just now speaking to y'all right now, I had an idea just in my brain, like, that's a bang, gotta do that, you gotta do it, and I'ma do it, like, I promise you, 
I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna be on here going crazy. Super. Like, we going banger, 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 banger. Promise you. I promise y'all. It's not even gonna be like regular content. Like, I'm coming through with some. <clears throat> you did. Like, like that. Like, I'm coming through with that. Uh, that. Uh, you feel me? But. I'm happy, y'all. Like, and I'm so like, I feel like there's a weight lifted off my shoulder right now. Cause like I'm able to express this to y'all and let y'all know like the real. You feel me? Like, see like this deep breath. Like I'm I feel good now. Like, oh man, finally, bro. Sheesh. Finally, bro. Like we here, baby. Like, we here, man. I miss y'all, man. Y'all miss me? Did y'all miss me? Let me know if y'all miss me for real, for real. And nobody's gonna, nobody's ever gonna try and break us apart again. I promise. I love y'all. Promise. Nobody could break us apart. Nobody. The love I have for y'all is unbreakable. You feel me? And and you know, I'm here and I ain't going nowhere. I promise. My mind is right, my mental is there, and I ain't going nowhere, son. No bad. You did. So, if you miss me, let me know in the comments, man. Something like, speak to me, bro. Like, speak to me, man. I came back to LA. You feel me? I'm here. I'm on the west side, west coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man. Like, we back. We back. And we, we better. 100. For sure, we better. But you know, listen. This is what I wanted to say. See what this says? Who decides war? You decide war. You want to go to war with me? That's on you. I don't want to go to war. I just want to live my life. I want to be happy, but <clears throat> you see who decides war? Play with me? It's up. You don't? It's not. Don't play with me. Straight up homie <laughs> straight up homie you feel me all i got is love bro I'm, I'm dishing out love no hate it's love bro straight love bro it's what i got but you know it could get ugly <laughs> shit could get ugly quick but i'm not here for that you feel me so thank y'all so much for tuning into this video you know what i'm saying i'm coming through with some bangers let me know in the comments down below like if you have any ideas for me let me know if you have anybody you think i should film with let me know i'll make it happen for you me and whoever you want I will make it happen down low. Let me know, bro. Any ideas, any videos, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and by the way, yeah, I've been I've been I've been in that gym. I've been in that gym working. So you feel me? I got hoodie on right now, but you know, later you're gonna see. Later you're gonna see. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming trim too. I'm coming trim all the way. Woo! Coming trim, baby. Get it! But nah, thank y'all so much for tuning in this video. I love y'all, man. I missed y'all. And you know, we are not, we not breaking up ever again. Like, I feel like, I feel like that was a little breakup. Like, we, we took a break. We took a break. We didn't break up. We took a break. No more breaks. You know what I'm saying? I feel like in relationships, you don't need a break. Because if you can if you break, if you get a break, you might as well break up. Because you know, if we get a break, you know, I'm, you know what I'm doing the same day. You did. But I ain't, I ain't knowing that no more. So let's, you feel me? Let's keep this rolling. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I, I love y'all so much, bro. Like, so much, bro. Like, this is genuine from my my heart bro i love y'all man and we gonna keep this rolling we not stopping nobody can't stop us bro we're gonna go crazy mark my words bro from today a year from now y'all gonna be like he went crazy this year crazy bro i'm coming i'm coming and i'm coming trim lay out